Welcome to the Jill on Money Show. It's Saturday, June 3rd, and we've got a really fun thing that we are cooking up for you. You know, we've been talking so much about the new service, Jill on Money Live. That's where you have access to quarterly live webinars and lots of other cool bonus content. Well, to just give you a little taste of what you might be missing... Today, we are going to air a teeny little sliver of our interview with IRA expert and CPA, Ed Slot. In this part of our interview, we're talking about the difference between a backdoor Roth and a Roth conversion. And before we get to this, just remember, if you would like to subscribe to this new service, because you want this whole interview, and we it was a long one. If you want to get access to this and watch the webinar and see all the great questions, all you need to do is go to our website, jillonmoney.com, and go to Jill on Money Live. There's a little click there, and you'll have access to these quarterly live webinars and all the special bonus content. So here is a little teaser of Ed Slot. What's the difference between doing a backdoor Roth and then talk about a Roth conversion? Because I think a lot of people have a, con- like, they just kind of get lost in the lingo. So let's just do a backdoor Roth. What is that? Well, let's go back for further. There's, co- there's contributions and conversions. The big money by far is in the conversions because that's unlimited. Right. If you want, if you could pay the tax, you could convert a billion dollars, no income limits. But when Roths first came out, you could not convert if your income exceeded 100000 In 2010, Congress repealed that, and they noticed, they learned something from that. They saw the boatload of money that came in from higher income people converting their Roths, people like me. I converted everything then. And, I, and if you were on my programs, I was probably on your program, and I said, take that deal in 2010. I converted everything. You know how much tax I paid on my Roth conversion in 2010? How much? Zero. That was the one time only, that one year, right? Yeah, yeah. You, if you converted in 2010, you paid zero. In 2010, you paid half in 11 and half in 12. So in essence, the government gave you an interest-free loan to build a tax-free savings account. I can't believe that everybody didn't take that. But again, people were short-sighted. They didn't want to pay the tax up front. Now, I didn't know uh, from 2010 to now what the stock market would do, but all of those gains from 2010, all tax-free for the rest of my life and whoever else did it. So Congress saw what was happening. They were getting big money in. So they started expanding Roth, Roth 401ks, Roth 403bs. And in Secure 2.0, the latest tax law, I call it Roth-a-mania because (laughs) they... Expand, they went in all in on the Roth, Roth SEP IRAs, Roth simple IRAs, Roth matching contributions, Roth catch up contributions, even 529 to Roths, Roth, Roth, Roth. And they put it under the revenue provisions. They don't even hide it anymore. They're using the Roth to create revenue. So let's take advantage of that. Now you were talking about backdoor Roth and Roth contributions. Backdoor Roth for 2022, last year, the most you could contribute to a Roth is 6,000 or 7,000 if you're 50 or over. For that, there were income limits. But if you want to convert a billion dollars, that's okay. No income limits on that. If you want to put 6,000, that's where we draw the line. The whole thing doesn't even make sense. So people get mixed up. The only time there are income limits is on to make a Roth contribution, but that's small money. Mm -hmm. Even for 23, it's only 6,500. And if you're 50 or over, 7,500. And uh, that's where the income limits are. And if you're over those income limits, there's a workaround. That's what you call the backdoor Roth. That's what everybody calls it. And that's totally legal. Everybody said in Secure 2.0, are they going to cut that out? No, they let it go. And all you have to do is make a contribution to a non-deductible traditional IRA for which there's no income limit then convert to a Roth. So you're back in the same place. But the big money is in the Roth conversion. And the key to making a fortune in good tax planning is to always pay taxes at the lowest rates, which is right now. That's what the Roth is. It's a bet. It's a big giant bet on where you think tax rates are going. And I think tax rates, based on the math, our debt and deficit levels, at some point the bill's going to come due. I think that's a good bet. If you like what you heard and you want more, just subscribe to the Jill on Money live service. Again, access to quarterly live webinars. And we've got one coming up at the end of this month with Dave Stahoviak. We're talking coaching for leaders. 
As always, we encourage you to ask us your questions just by hanging out at the website, jillonmoney.com and clicking the contact us button. Ah, very good. Do something nice for someone else today. Thank you for listening. Change your work, change your wealth, change your life.